my beautiful earthlings, it's your EDM BFF Nora Mystic and welcome back to my channel. Today's video it's all about the history of Electric Daisy Carnival known to friends as EDC or to its neighbors as Stop making all that damn noise! <laughs> First, I'm gonna talk about uh, Humble Beginnings. Second, Musical Carousel. Third, You Don't Wanna Miss, Scandals in Vegas. And fourth, I'm gonna dive into Insomniac Empire. So, part number one, Humble Beginnings. Imagine, if you will, 1991. The rave crowd's latest hotspot in the desert. Chino, California, not really a cradle of civilization, but it will do for a field. 3,000 hopefuls and a dream that looked more like a zoning error. This pastoral setting was the inception of the EDC, but initially dubbed as Magical Mikey's Daisy Electric Days Carnival. <sighs> wow. M M E D C. That sounds nice. M M E D C. M M E D C. In reality, the concept of Electric Daisy Carnival was dreamed up by Stefan Humphure, uh, known as Mr. Kool Aid, and uh, Gary Richardson, known as Destructo. But the festival took its significant turn in 1992 when uh, Pascal Rotella, originally a street team promoter, uh, stepped into the scene. By 1995, Mr. Kool-Aid had handed over the rights to the EDC name to Pascal Rotella, who very fast after it became the CEO of the, of the brand and the new face of rave culture. Starting in 1997 at Shrines in Los Angeles, EDC became one of the flagship events under the Insomnia brand. By 2001, EDC was no longer a single stage curiosity, but a sprawling multi-stage extravaganza. Uh, they added venues like Clown Alley and Healing and Cosmic Healing Temple, because why? Uh, would you have just a rave when you can have a rave where simultaneously you can have existential crisis and the time of your life. Part number two, musical carousel. As we entered the new millennium, EDC wasn't just growing in size, it was evolving. House, techno, drum and bass, dubstep, you name it, they had it. By 2000, with a shift to the World Agricultural Expo, because nothing screams rave than agricultural setting, EDC featured five stages. Yes, you heard me, five stages of a dance till you drop madness. In 2001, EDC did unthinkable. They moved beyond California, Texas. Be aware, the ravers are coming. They added daylights like Clown Ellie and Merry-Go-Round and EDC became less a festival and more like a music invasion. Scandals and Las Vegas era. All right, let's not forget 2010 and LA scandal. EDC at Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum was more like Where's Wildo of rave culture, packed, chaotic, and very dangerous. The result, EDC moved to Las Vegas Motor Speedway. We all know what happened in Vegas. 
this time definitely didn't stay in Vegas. The festival exploded. More days, more DJs, more stage, more, more, more. <laughs> style to deep house, the festival music mirrored the evolution of EDM itself. Number four, Insomniac Empire. And through all this, Insomniac wasn't just throwing parties, they were building empire. From Las Vegas skylines to the international shores in UK, Brazil and beyond, EDC became more than a festival, it became a phenomenon. And let's be honest, Insomniac's ability to turn a rave into multi-day, multi-sensory extravaganza must be genius or madness, uh, depending on how much you're enjoying uh, crowd surfing and confetti. All right, my earthlings, that would be all for today's video. See you on, see you on another rave. Until then, bye-bye.